and giving back to the Queen Anne's County community is a great way to meet new people and learn a lot. So today we've stopped by the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center to learn about how you can connect with nature while lending a helping hand. To learn more, we talked to CBEC's new volunteer coordinator, Courtney Lee. We are a nonprofit, private organization. We're a business, so we have a variety of activities. I would say the most obvious activities relate directly to the property itself and helping to teach about the outdoor environmental environmental education. Some of these opportunities allow this people to be outside in the habitats such as the one behind us, the marsh, in the woods or on a kayak. We also have opportunities for volunteers who may not be necessarily inclined with working with the public but still like to be outdoors. So we have uh, 510 acres that needs to be managed. This could include trail clearing, this can include habitat restoration and improvement, this can be uh, the buildings need help. So maybe they have expertise in plumbing, carpentry, painting, and would love to help CBEC manage our structures that are on our property. We also have volunteers that maybe not have any type of interest in helping to manage the property, don't want to work with the public, but still like to be outside. We have citizen science programs here that people can get involved with monitoring wood ducks, bluebirds, screech owls, bald eagles, and ospreys, all of which require volunteers to monitor their lifestyles, their behaviors, any information that would uh, give back feedback of how they're doing in the environment. And then of course we have volunteers that love the environment, which is possible to do, but not want to be outside. As I said, we are a business, so there's opportunities that help us with our administration. This can include fundraising, promoting CBEC, getting the word out there that we're here. It can include administrative details such as helping to manage our membership database, helping the volunteer program, and then of course any type of um, website development. So to volunteer here at CBEC, uh, we require participants to be 18 years of age. And if you are not 18 years of age, you're younger than that, we still would love to have you. Uh, we just need you to have um, your adult that is responsible for you, apply for you, and then help to manage your time here. Some activities will require the adult to participate in with the minor. Um, other than that, you need to become a volunteer once you meet that only requirement. Uh, you need to be ready to activate on stewardship values that you have on behalf of CBEC. Volunteer training is essential to make sure that our volunteers are effective. So we have a couple of mechanisms to make sure we have effective volunteers, two of which are uh, adult education programs. One is actually called the Maryland Master Naturalist Program. It's an environmental education program that then will give them background knowledge of how to teach about the environment, specifically here in Maryland on the coastal plain. We, and that one usually runs in the fall, in the winter. We have a spring adult education program that focuses on broader Chesapeake Bay issues. That is a great background knowledge to fuel someone's knowledge base as a volunteer here of environmental education. That one is called LIFE. It's the Legacy Institute for the Environment and it happens in the spring. Other volunteer training opportunities are scattered around the year based on specific events and specific needs. So usually our volunteers are interested in helping for the pure satisfaction that they are giving back to the community, that they want to be part of something larger than themselves. We do want to make sure that we offer incentives to our volunteers to keep them. We want this to be an enjoyable experience. So we have some fun little incentives that help continue um, participation. We always like to give them some little gifts like CBEC t-shirts, CBEC name tags, make them feel important and make them understand they are an extension of our staff. We also offer when someone reaches 100 hours of service in a given year, they get free membership to CBEC and all the benefits that come along with being a member of the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center. But for the most part, our volunteers are, are doing it because they want to give back. For more information, you can visit bayrestoration.org. I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.